Good evening, folks. It's a midnight stream. How's it going? Welcome to Wasted Space Live. I am in a remarkably good mood for half past midnight. And for some reason, we're going to build a, an RC car and a RC track and space engineers because I had that fancy. Why not? Why not, says I. Hello, hello, folks in chat. On top space track, indeed. Robo Rail, I feel you. I should probably not be awake either. But hey, here we both are. So, we'll intro a little the subject of this evening. I am, or was, I don't get so much time to do it anymore, uh, a pretty avid off road RC car racer. So, I used to do a lot of season based and championship based RC car racing in the UK, had a lot of fun, but. As such, I kind of had this bit of urge to see whether or not we could make a good amalgam of RC car racing in Space Engineers, in particular off-road like I'm used to. So what I want to do this evening is kind of test out that concept a bit, see if we can make sort of at least a really basic car that's going to work for a platform size-wise, and then try and work on a track for us to go and kind of try these things out on. So the sort of track I am thinking of is a bit along these lines which is a track that I ooh, actually if I'd switched over that would be a bit bigger let me make that a bit more a bit more central there we go I could even make it bigger couldn't I so this is a track I've raced on not very far from where I live really really cool track and I kind of want to remake something a bit like that using probably a lot of voxel hands and the like. But for the most part, the nice thing about RC tracks like that is they tend to be built off a flat piece of land and then you just either add or remove dirt to it. So I think it should be pretty doable. So that's the plan. That's where we're headed. So we've got a world loaded up, uh, only a single mod on for the time being, which is the Catwalks mod, because I think I might need it to build our rostrum. And also a world that contains absolutely nothing at the moment, because I figured I could also spawn us in something rather than use a preloaded planet as such. Game of Galaxy, Danish Krona donation of 20. Hey, hope you have a good stream and good luck. Thank you, man. Hopefully this one comes together. It'll be really nice to actually have an RC racing track where we can all like line up on a rostrum and so on. Can I make the bank? That's a good question, Tacklevik. We're going to have a go. Uh, so if you go into planets, there are a few interesting things in here. One of them that I might end up using here is if you find there's this system test map. Um, and if I spawn one in quickly, I can show you why these things are kind of handy. They're a bit weird, these planets, but they have their purpose because it's a tiny little planet that is conveniently 1.0 G the same as a proper planet but also completely flat it's got these weird test patterns on it that I think it was just used to test voxel materials and so on but it's just completely flat so you've got loads and loads of space to go and let me know the double donut oh the mystical double donut never before has it been seen it was spoken of in legend and here it is <laughs> that looks really, really silly, Space Engineers. Congratulations. Rob here, Brian. With the five euro donation, I knew if I kept the wasted face, I would be rewarded with the stream this evening. Here's a few quid for the beer, boss man. And keep up the awesome content. Oh, cheers, guys. Yeah, I didn't want to let you guys down. I am pretty knackered this evening, but I didn't want to let you all down with no stream, so I figured I'd come up with something random to do. I have to admit, there were some guys on Discord hassling me. I mean, like, uh, so, about that stream wasted. Wasn't, wasn't that a thing? So I'm thinking just pick a flat bit of terrain. This is kind of a weird but interesting map for this sort of thing. But because of that, it gives us something that's really easy to work with. And I think actually the first thing I need to be working on is an appropriate size for the vehicle. Because that's going to dictate the rest of the track for us, how wide it needs to be the whole way around. So I think just to start off with, I'm going to need to sort my bars out. Let's get this stuff sorted out. Oh, I will warn you guys in advance, it is relatively late and I am relatively knackered. So if I am not as on top of chat as I would normally be, etc., please forgive me. I will be doing my best to pay attention. Especially as it's going to be voxel hands. <laughs> yeah, voxel hands. Okay, and then 
What else am I need? Landing gear. Gonna need wheels, not surprisingly. Normally a convenient part of the design. And that's probably about it, at least for a base chassis. I don't I don't want to try anything complex. I just want to see what sort of size is going to be a sensible size for these RC cars to be. Because in reality, actually I don't need a chair, do I? I need a remote control block and an antenna. What am I doing? Remote control wasted. It's in the name. No edgy or text today, no, it's just me on my own, so I'm gonna have to do my very best to try and pretend like I'm entertaining at least. We'll see what we can do. Normally I can dirt hard enough that someone finds it funny at the very least. I have that ability, I have the power. I'm by another donation going by in chat. Katie's the legend. To change my sleep schedule as I'm working nights as of Saturday, so it's your job to keep me entertained until 7 a.m. I waste. No! No! Wasted stream is already a good, good, good that is always a good excuse to stay up late anyway. Well, that I can agree with, but 7 a.m.? No, sir, we're not doing that. So wheelbase-wise, I'm thinking base this off of Truggies, which is an off-road class that basically the name is a combination of buggy and truck, as you can probably guess, and the idea is, unlike a normal off-road buggy, right, the wheel sizes here are completely wrong for what we're dealing with. We need the big wheels. Um, but unlike a... RC buggy, for example, which have small front wheels and large rear wheels, and uh, Truggy has the same size wheels the whole way around, um, and has just generally a slightly longer chassis and slightly beefier arms. Uh, and they are hilariously good fun, because they drift all over the place, four-wheel drive drift. Ooh, ooh. Uh, I could base it off a buggy, we could have buggy classes as well, but I figured the Truggy is going to be the largest class that would go round the track. So therefore, if we build it to fit a Truggy, we can fit all of the other classes in as well. Because at the end of all of this, I'd like to kind of put a challenge out to you guys, if possible, to build your own cars. Uh, that's going to pot bing the thing into the sky, isn't it? Let's, uh, let's build this more sensibly, shall we? So, so I can get a size template during this stream, and we can build a bit of a track to see whether or not that side of things is doable. I'm not sure if I'll finish it today, because obviously building that sort of thing normally takes a fair bit of testing, if nothing else, just to make sure it's good. But then at the end, we'll have like a pattern, and I can be like, okay, so anyone who wants to make a track, stick it up on the workshop, label it like, make a car, sorry, stick it up on the workshop, label it like this, and then we can sort of use them for, I can you know, do some tests on them, use them on streams and so on, to see basically who's come up with the, the best off-road race car. I think that would be fun. Obviously, within some constraints, we're not going to be allowing thrusters, for example. That would not be the point. Now, I think this is going to end up with the large wheels too short now. I'll have a quick look, but I suspect that that is the case. Yeah, I can see already. Off you go. Need to get the right body proportions. I'll put the wheels on the front, and then we might have a slightly better time of things. They finally fixed wheel mirroring. Oh damn, son! Ah, the problem with wheel, does the wheel mirroring actually these these wheels are the wrong way around? Does the wheel mirroring actually work left and right as well? That's the question. Or is that why they did it? That's an interesting question. Is is the reason we've now got left and right wheels in order to fix the fact that they could never work out how to mirror them? They don't mirror correctly, do they? They don't mirror right. Come on, space engineers. Gamer Galaxy! All hail, Lord Kang. Goff, use pistons or not? Uh, no pistons, mate. Not if we're going to do it in multiplayer. Because that's the whole point of this. What is this? This is just another left-hand one. Yeah, it is. So, good, good. Good, good. Mirroring's a bit broken, even with their own systems. Of course, that's going to delete the one on the other side. No mirroring for the wheels. Roger! Kind of should have seen this coming, but whatever. I'm trying to be a good boy, because people always complain at me when I use the wrong wheels on the wrong sides. It's just unfortunate that Space Engineers doesn't want to join me in that particular endeavour. So, correct length for a truggy. 
that sort of where where it sits now there is is about buggy length but the wheels for a buggy would only be that big on the rear and they probably wouldn't be as wide as that because truggies tend to have wider arms as well one more back still thank you for the donation gamer galaxy I completely forgot to say thank you on top of that trying to talk at the same time Mac 5 RC car, not quite. The real ones are pretty swift. Swifter than you'd expect for the most part, unless you're relatively clued up on sort of what RC has sort of become these days. Electric made quite a big impact to RC racing. Obviously, nitro RC racing and petrol RC racing is still a thing, but electric's pretty scary. As you might expect, remove the need to move passengers around. The wheel sizes for this are just a bit wrong. A bit wrong for the scale I'm building it at. Obviously, what I'm trying to build here is not a good layout for a car. What I'm trying to build here is a sort of relatively accurate recreation of the scale of one of the RC cars. I mean, in theory, that should be pretty decent, right? But that doesn't mean it will be because it's space engineers. Um, but it's going to give us sort of a sensible baseline and then you guys can make stuff that's going to kick the shit out of anything I make. I'm normally good with wheels, but I imagine in this scenario I'm going to spend more time making the map than making the car. That's the more important part, I'll let you guys make some cool vehicles, see what comes out of it. So, one of the things you do get with these RC cars, even though it might not work out well in Space Engineers, is the chassis is of course as low as it can be, because it keeps the weight down. So, in this sort of design, actually you wouldn't have... Like, this wouldn't be like it is. These would probably go up to suspension uprights where they are, but down here would be a, a differential, technically, um, and drivetrain and so on. But it would be, for the most part, should I put suspension uprights on? I could. It might be a bit weird. Oh, my mirroring's all wrong. Oh, matron. <laughs> kind of like the shot rod, but more nos. I don't think I don't think we'll do nos to begin with. I'm in auto rotation. Go away with your auto rotation, space engineers. This is not a feature we want. Now, if we were to imagine we're standing on a rostrum up here, is that a sensible size to be trying to control? How far away you could you get it? It's quite big. It might be a good idea to make the bottom armor heavy to keep the weight down tacto. I mean, I've tried it before and Space Engineers doesn't seem to model weight particularly well. So you, it does make some sense to have it heavy down here, but I was thinking much more from the angle that it would be a tougher material. So when you're smashing off jumps, you might not break yourself. I mean, that's something you guys might have to do. As I said, I don't want to waste too much time on, on this side of things, when in reality the track is probably the cooler bit all round. But blast doors might be a good idea for your bottom chassis. Something that's going to help you slide when you do impact with the ground. Uh, and I might, I didn't, I realise now I forgot to turn it on, but I might allow the slab mod in order to give you more clearance at these points. So you could have this sort of being, say, in fact, this map loads so quickly, I might go and stick it on. Yeah. Looks off-centred. Yeah, it will do a little bit because I've rebuilt it. It is still centred, don't worry. I don't think weight is important with weight classing, with classing, no. No, but thrusters and stuff like that has got to be out of it. Uh, slab. 
I'm right. Armor slab should be baseline. Should be baseline. It's like, it's like when they had that bit of glass missing from the game, if you guys remember it, where there was one of the inverted bits of glass that just wasn't in the game. It's like, well, for, come on. This should be one of the blocks we just have. What do I want you all dead? What, 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 what has caused this? I am, I am no hater. Although, hey, you go. Maybe I could do this out of heavy. That could be quite cool. Uh, what is it? No. I think this is probably the best way. Ooh, can't do that. Oh, where's the blooming landing gear attached as well? Have I already... I think I've already detached it, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Without realising. Yeah, I've got to do these one at a time. It's turned auto block rotation back on again. But yeah, for, for ground vehicles especially, I love these slabs. For getting, like, you're basically giving yourself as much ground clearance as possible in a quite a nice tight area. Oh, look at that. That's pretty sweet. You could even attach it to the sides with slabs there. But. Oh yes, there was a reason why I wasn't using mirroring, wasn't there? <laughs> Or I managed to make a mistake. Delete the whole thing. Let's take a copy. Perhaps that would be a wise idea. So while we do this, and I'll do my best to follow chat at the same time, what have you guys been building of late? Surely everyone is up to their cunning things in Space Engineers, their cunning designs. What is it you have been crafting in the world of the Space Engineers? Always intrigued to see what pe people ideas and things people have been up to, quests they've set themselves, because that is basically what we've got to do in Space Engineers at the moment still, as everyone knows, is you're down to your own devices for this one, folks. Cool. That is that is about right for a, a truggy chassis size. Now I might use batteries as differentials. Yeah, you get front and rear diff, and also thus, can I have a control panel on this, please, somewhere? ESC, just there. Have you, maybe uh, you'd have your steering servo here, you'd have your battery down this side, you'd have your motor sitting there, central gear line there, small center diff in the middle. Here's a wedgie! Build a figure of eight demolition derby track. You see, this is why it's cool to ask people, is because there's cool stuff coming out. There we go. Nuclear Fallout wasted. Nuclear Fallout. All right, that's normally you don't play Nuclear Fallout. You just run away from it or whatever, or hide from it. Uh, what else have we got in here? 700 meter long, almost vanilla dreadnought. Fucking okay, hell. All right, fair play. Nuclear reactor power TC car, as you do. Um, yeah, why not? Nuke nuke pad seems the best way to do. <laughs> Uh, what was this? Another version of Red Dwarf, of course. I would expect no less. Tenebrous. That's pretty much all you ever do. Planes using the helicopter propeller mod. Fun. Work bee. Space forklift with a tactical drill bit. I like the idea of a space forklift. Did you build it looking like a space forklift? That's the important part. I wanted to fly around with like the lifts on the front for no reason at all. What else are people up to? New survival map with the crash mode ship. Yeah, some cool stuff. I'm glad people are still finding their own Finding their own way of doing stuff, you know? Wedgies in chat giving me all the... Or detector he reckons might look like a brushless... Only if your brushless motor was pathetic, Wedgie. Only if it was pathetic. A drill might be appropriately sized. There you go. That's my brushless motor. No. <laughs> Half the drill is about right. I wasn't planning to go the whole hog. I think oxygen tank is probably... No, even that's too big. But I wasn't going to go that whole hog. I was just sort of kind of demonstrating for the for the shits and giggles where stuff would be laid out. Mostly, what I want to do is just get this thing to ride a bit lower, and then having got it to ride a bit lower, they fixed this stuff. Yeah, 
the ride does, I mean, I know. Holy shit, does height offset actually work? Um, since when? What, they've updated power to actually, and damping to actually do what it's supposed to? Whoa, next level. Fucking next level. Now all they'd need to do is get rid of this stupid clearance issue at the bottom of the wheels and you might actually be able to build an off-road car. Yeah, old cat, my, um, all of the RCs I use are three-phase. Trust me, they need to be. The amps they're rolling is pretty ridiculous, man. Uh, right, I need a rostrum to stand on and I need to try and drive my car around. Oh, it doesn't have an antenna. Uh, and why am I building other blaster blocks? All of this stuff is unnecessary. What sort of height would you have your rostrum? It's probably a bit low. Yeah, it's a bit low. All testing to begin with. Once I've got the heights, I can start on the track. So I want to see whether or not this is sort of sensible distances. Looks alright so far. Right, let's give her a antenna. And I guess this structure and antenna. And some sort of power. And are we going to sit in seats? I guess we can sit in seats. Good enough interpretation. Yeah, that's pretty perfect. You just have to stick in this point of view. Now, I know there's a V8 reactor engine in the uh, Azimuth. It's quite cool. I've used it before in a couple of... Um, I have some hot rod designs under here that, that don't spawn in properly because they use that. I can't remember which one it is. Some of these use it. There's like a Studebaker sort of one that... Oh, Wedgies. Wedgies race tractors. Those things are amazing. Right, let's give this thing a drive. Small grid, remote. Actually, no, let's um, crank our antenna first. Control, control. Four wheel steering? I don't think so. Uh, that one on that one. Go. Uh, she's backwards. Oh, this is going to be hard to see. We need to be higher up still, I think, in order to get a decent-sized track. Uh, the steering is also reversed for some reason. Why is the steering reversed? Okay. Yeah, I think this is doable, other than needing the rostrum to be a bit higher. You want to be getting as much of a top-down angle as possible. And I would aim for something not much heavier than this vehicle. It's got the right sort of maneuverability, I think, for doing the tracks at the size they're going to be. Because you're not you're going to want to speed limit yourself for this. You're not going to want to go crazy fast. The off-road tracks don't work like that. Yeah, the originals don't look much like the ones today, that's for sure. Uh, so, yeah, let's try just hitting the rostrum up a little bit higher. Game of Galaxy, just with... The more Danish crowns and, and absolutely no message whatsoever, dude. What are you doing? At least say something. I'm glad you're enjoying yourself. Thank you very much, but say something. Use your time. It's like three words, basically. Three words that I will read. <laughs> okay, that, that looks a bit more like the sort of view you'd expect. You want to be, when it's going down the straight, which I'll put down the start finish line here with a little bit of a pit you want to almost be looking vertically down you want to have to kind of move your head around as you're doing this and that's fine because you, you can have one hand that's free anyway yes they did lady freedom keen have fixed the wheels so they now go further down it's quite cool i should make a try i assume you mean trike uh in space engineers i could give it a go not tonight Tonight we have a very specific plan, but that as a starting point, I can obviously dress it up later. But I think it's far more important that we try and get the actual map itself done. What about cameras? Nah, no cameras. 
That's not RC racing if you've got cameras on it. Yeah, right. Let me get the reference material up for both of us. Hey, James Lowe. I'm not going to go super duper late tonight because I started quite late, but we'll be around for a little while. Let's um, scale this, this friend of ours down here. Got a bit large, it has. Friend, if you want to just tuck down a little small for me there and maybe, maybe go hide behind the other stuff. How about that? There you go, you see? Almost like you belong there. Ah, uh, talking to yourself. First Sonic Madness, isn't it? Something like that. Talking to an inanimate picture on your own PC. I do know there's indoor drone racing. It looks absolutely crazy. And, and possibly quite expensive. Okay, so now I need to map out, and this probably might help in general for people as an idea of like how to correctly scale things like this, because it is a bit of a challenge in Space Engineers getting scale right when you're building this sort of thing and not getting to the end and thinking, oh god, I've built this completely terribly. And one thing I like to do firstly is obviously I'm going to build a lot of what I'm doing here in large ship blocks, so I'm just going to check what width we've got dealing with. So the, the, the car itself is floor box, four blocks wide which makes me want to make the track 20 blocks wide the whole way around. Uh, not four blocks, sorry, not 20 blocks, 16, 16, 12 blocks maybe even. No, 16 blocks would make more sense. Now, which seems really wide, but if you actually want to successfully pass each other, that's going to be necessary. You know, if you want to successfully go by, you need the space to be able to do it. So, let us now, now one thing you can do to kind of help yourself get a scale is use, of course if you're doing this in creative, which we will be, use underground. So here I can actually build out a big, uh, just to begin with, a big grid uh, of blocks that are going to help me scale out the size of the track. Of course, what I should probably do is think about the maximum confines before we do that. So. The track itself is at a width of 16 blocks. We are going to want to make this suitably long outside whatever, you know, the main straight goes along up here and is, for the most part, pretty straight. How long should we go? 60, they're four each. to be able to fit the small stuff in the middle, so I need to give myself plenty of room here. If it goes over wide, it's not a problem. It just can't go be over small. If you go over narrow, you're going to cripple yourself later down the line. Now, because we're on such a small world, some of this is going to poke out the ground, and it's not going to be a big deal, because I can fix it later. But I'm thinking that is the length of the main sort of straight bit of the straight. And then in order to fit the corners in again, probably another 15 on the ends. Major Skyfire. Or Mage Skyfire, sorry, I always, I always pronounce that wrong. Mage Skyfire, dude. Thank you very much for the donation. Yeah, it is a bit of a chill late night calm down stream this evening, I have to say. <laughs> he says, a good stream to decompress before bed. Keep up the awesome work with all your content. Decompress, I like that as a content, as a, a way of saying that. Lovely images of... of yeah, you can compress it. It, it. Although, would it be compressed? Surely, surely, you're, you're, you're chilling out at the end of the night. You're compressing your files. You're not decompressing them. So that should give us enough distance to be able to... Oh, actually, this should be one more. Because then we've got our 16 block at the end here. So that's the width we want to be running with. Because this thing, at least down this side actually goes straight the whole way up. So what we're going to do is essentially build it to some extent underground first. And then I can lay down the track above it in a way that's actually pretty quick. And anytime we need to put barriers down or whatever, they can actually get attached to this stuff. That seems to be the best way to pull this off. To try and build up sort of sides at a time and so on. 
Uh, you say I don't have a wedgie in with me blowing things up. He would, of course, be welcome. Wedgie is always welcome because he's a dude. But secondly, wedgie is excellent at this sort of build. When it comes to actually sort of recreating something from real life, wedgie is really good. If, you know, if I was going to pick someone to to sort of help me, in fact, to be fair, in the past, wedgie has a number of times with the the stuff I've done that are kind of wannabe real life builds if you know what I mean the remakes of stuff and so on Wedgie has been involved with a whole bunch of those because he tends to come in and fix the windows for me more than anything else <laughs> I, I am not good at windows and he is very good at windows I made the these are the wrong side aren't they Nah, there's no pressure on Wish. He comes and joins me plenty. I can imagine at times it'd be quite nice to uh, not have to come and randomly join me on streams. Okay, so I've run into an immediate scaling problem, and this is why scaling in SE is tricky. Actually, is it... Actually, no, maybe I haven't. Maybe it is. What do you reckon, guys? Have a look at that picture, and remember it's got that, that weird sort of, I don't know what you want to call it, uh, words, wasted words, you've got them somewhere in there. It's, it's got the FOV effect of the fact that it is a GoPro shot as such. Would you say that is twice as wide as it's long, as it, twice as wide as it is deep, or would you say it's more than that? I've been there and I can't even properly answer that question. I think it's a bit longer than I've got it. Down in the bottom left-hand corner? Yes, those are the pits. That's where you start and refuel. Uh, we're building a track, Wedgie. Apparently. Building Kent Model Car Club track. <laughs> I might even hit them up when it's done and be like, Hey guys, uh, I'm a random streamer that comes to your track occasionally, and we built it in Space Engineers. Do you want to look? <laughs> Be pretty, pretty random. I wonder how they'd react to that. What would you say to that? Connected. Channel switched. You'd be like, uh, okay. I, I, I think it's longer. It looks like about three to one. I, I think, yeah, you guys are right. So let's extend one more side of this by, I've been doing it in number amounts of about 60, so let's go, say, another 60 along here. I can always reset where the position of the uh, rostrum is. And I can redo this side only. I want Space Engineers, I deleted that. Let me delete it. Thank you. Is that going to be visible from a high enough? How high do you have to be to get a realistic view on that. Probably a bit higher. Oh no, 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 no. That's about right. User joined your channel. That's about right. Alright, Wedgie. Hello. How's it going? Uh, not bad, thanks. How are you? Um, fairly tired. I can see it's about what, one o'clock in the morning, so yeah. understandable. Some guys came and found me on Discord and were like, yeah, there was a stream, wasn't there? Yeah, well, it's <laughs> probably true. I might have said something along those lines. You weren't supposed to remember, though. God damn it. Uh, <laughs> the internet never forget. Apparently not. I've posted random pictures in uh, in my own Discord, and you've come back to haunt me in a, a shitty Photoshop meme later on. <laughs> of course they have. What else did you expect? <laughs> I'm sure it's in the rules somewhere. Yeah. At least, you're, at least you're so far free of Rule 34, so... Oh no, that's not true. I've had people write oh. erotic fanfiction about me in oh, the assembly dear. already, so... Oh dear. Yeah. Congratulations, Wedge. You have <laughs> you have crossed that mark. It was actually quite a while ago as well. Well, it means you are someone. Yeah, I suppose. <laughs> Ah, so people are actually checking out the aerial photos on Google and so on, because I mentioned, obviously, which track it was. <laughs> Give me an idea of how right I, or, more importantly, wrong I am. What was it called again? I, uh, it is I missed it. Kent Model Car Club. 
And he's a, it's a great track, by the way, if, if anyone ever feel, finds themselves in the UK and wanting to do a bit of off-road RC racing. Kent is uh, a serious track that will also make you feel welcome, uh, which is not necessarily true of every track. There are definitely some tracks, that, in the UK at least, that are a bit more elitist uh, and like to be very um, sort of stuck up about exactly who they invite and, and how sort of newcomers are welcomed and so on. And, and Kent's very sort of serious track, very nice track, and yet there's none of that bollocks. Just good guys. Is there a uh, medical room somewhere? Uh, no, but I can sort that out. Game of Galaxy is just throwing the Kronos around this evening for the for the wedgie love. You guys also <laughs> fire and fire and flames. Yep, you see that. Yeah, apparently when I was doing the thumbnail deep inside, I understood that wedgie was actually going to appear at some point. Swice <laughs> <laughs> so got a picture of what is essentially a smoking RC car on it. Oh, oh dear. Oh, well. Didn't end up needing it. Uh, so I saw, yeah. I put mm. it in a good place for you and everything. That's not too bad. Just joining Wasted, what do you run as RPG Archer? Uh, I don't race currently. I uh, don't really have enough time for it at the moment. But when I did... I was racing primarily a Losi 8T 2.0 converted with a Techno RC Canadian company uh, conversion kit, which is absolutely bloody awesome, to be honest. They make incredibly good conversion kits. Uh, got on board with them very early on with the 8T 1.0, in fact. Uh, and having had their conversion kit for that, then went and essentially upgraded myself. Although it has had... It's got a fair bit of, of not necessarily custom work, but I've spent a lot of time setting it up, and you know, I've changed the shock towers out for some of the newer ones, etc. Um, whereas I then, having got that, upgraded to the one that's actually in the picture on the stream, which I never really raced with properly, which is the one that Techno made themselves, which is an EB48, which is a one eight scale buggy. Uh, all of it with Castle Creations electrics, except for the servos, which I use a mix of Savox and Ace, depending on how heavy duty I need. So have you managed to locate yourself a, a map of what I'm talking about? I have indeed. I take it this long bit is the home straight? It is indeed. Wonderful. Yes, I'm working on the basis the track will be 16 blocks wide. Okay. So, uh, so that way, that, that's on the basis that I've, I've sort of found a size of car that seems to make some sense. Uh, and that way we'll have a sort of standard width, standard sized track to work with for fitting those cars on in a way that racing works. I mean, I, I've actually built and designed a active RC track that's out there now. The, the local club that I... Um, well, when I was still racing, my local club re redid their track while I was there as one of the committee members, and mm. so I, you know, had a bunch of direct feedback into how the track was designed and did a bunch of research into sort of how to design an archery RC track well and so on, and then had the pleasure of actually building the damn thing with, <laughs> with a lot of shovels and a lot of clay for the most part. Uh, that's pretty smart. But end result of that was the, you know. I, I had a bit of a chance to actually experience the stuff um, and knowing it's 90 meters long by 58 meters wide. Ooh, General McGuffin, good info. That's pretty handy to know the scale of it. Yeah, but then now I need to convert that into the scale of the buggy I've got. What it does mean is this thing is nowhere near big enough. So. Standard size of a buggy, that's about... It's four blocks, which is four 2.5 metre blocks Space Engineer's scale. But I would argue that for the sake of ease, we just call one large block one metre. Okay. And those things four metres wide. You know? I think that makes things easier. So everything's just a factor of four. You know? All right, then. 
So 90 blocks by 52, was it? 58? Yeah, which means that it becomes so. Yeah, let, let's let's now we've got that info. Great info, Mr. McGuffin. Uh, thank you for that. I, I wouldn't have known particularly well how to do that myself. I probably could have worked it out. But this was, as mentioned, somewhat of an impromptu stream. I wasn't even sure if I was going to do it until I had like a bit of an idea of what it was I wanted to do, and I was like, actually, yeah, that'll give me some energy. That sounds like a fun thing to try. And if nothing else, maybe it can come back for top engineer at some point. <laughs> That could be pretty cool, actually, yeah. Challenge one week to build, like, RC cars for it, or, I don't know, take our cars around it actually in first person. Yeah, come on, space engineers. I'm seeing a problem um, with space engineers. It's so long, the, uh, the blocks are no longer on the ground. Oh, that's fine, because the blocks are literally there to lay out what the track's going to, where it's going to go, and act as a guide for the scale, then not what the track is actually going to be made out of. Primarily, oh, is it going to be voxel? It's going to be voxel, and because in reality most of an RC track is square, is flat, sorry, mostly what we're doing is just making sure we get the idea of where to put the barriers, and then I just need to build a few jumps and banks, you know? It's mostly getting the scale right with this build, it, it, that's the main one. Oh. Well, thank you, McGovern. That's, that's some solid info. I'm going to certainly check it out. Saying QGIS is a free GIS, graphic in geographic information system software, uh, which is able to work out things like correctly give you scale from Google Maps, apparently, which is pretty cool. That's definitely and the kind of thing you need to know these days. And yeah, as Ink is pointing out, and I have already got on, I have a pad of, of, of things that are needed for top engineer and and one of them is 100 percent a track for our equivalent of star and a reasonably price car so 90 180 360 we need this to be that's not actually that ridiculous to be honest how wide is this 12 <laughs> do you know what just go away i'll start again thanks and I can put this thing far enough under the ground that it actually doesn't appear above. Actually, although saying that, being half out helps us draw the track properly, so screw it. And I've got space that direction. So, 360. A fortuitous number, almost. But it's okay, because we can only fun. build in 101 segments, because Space Engineer... might take that back this is going to be f f enormous <laughs> it's to scale so in theory you should be able to see as well as you can on an rc track as long as i build the rostrum to scale so that's 303 meters so now i need to build 157 there we go that is the length of our track oh crap that's a big track yeah, now that kind of problem that i was mentioning earlier has become Quite a big problem. Gamer Galaxy, yes, yes, yes. We, we can we can solve this. We can just build a wall on the bottom of it. Okay, then. Gamer Galaxy with just more Corona. It's a Corona shower this evening. Thank you, dude. What are you up to? And you're off. Hi, Z. Good night, man. Take care. Thank you very much for the donations. You are a very kind man. And it was 58 blocks. So, what are we talking about? 116, 200, and... Wow, mental arithmetic. 24. No, 34, sorry. 234, okay. Two. 201, sorry. 202, and then... 32. Here's a big track. Here's a big track. We have to bitch. I'm doing the other side. You say you're doing the other side, what do you mean? Well, you know, it's a box, isn't it? So. I'm confused. 
If you're placing blocks, I can't see them. Uh, they're not placed yet. Okay. Yeah, it's quite impressive when a uh, an RC track so highlights the uh, the curvature of a, a yeah, planet. Yeah, well, this is a very small planet, to be fair. Ah. Uh, this is this is that weird test world that I used for the other racetrack I have, mm. and yeah, it, it's a tiny planet. It really is. Space Engineer does not like it when you do what I'm trying to do at the moment. Can tell. Really does not like doing that. I'm doing this because I can. We can basically just delete this grid at the end, and mm. it's going to work. But this will give us a perfect guide for the the outside, and then all we need to do really is figure out how the track itself fits inside. Well, in theory, I don't know perfectly. I was going to say, are you going to, like, fill up to these walls with voxels? No. No. No, no, do it on the surface and just accept the fact that it's slightly curved. Oh. I, th I think is the answer. I mean, we could fill up to the level with voxels, but it's it's risky. Because... It could, the gravity. It's not even just... The gravity is going to change as you go. Mm. But also, like, any slight mistake when you're laying those voxels down, and it won't be flat. Mm. You know, voxels are a bit of a pain in the ass to get flat at the best of times, and and that is, in my mind, inviting just a whole bunch of trouble as far as like getting it flat is concerned. Oh, especially it really doesn't find me doing this. Second, I press shift. It's just like, oh, help me. be here for craft building once it starts well the craft building i'm going to leave primarily down to you folks that's, that's part of the deal with this is is i'm going to build the track and i've built what i believe is at least a sensible amalgam of the correct sort of size for the rc car beyond that it's going to be down to you guys to make the actual cars for the the track the, the competitors um this is just the sort of size we're talking about which is something that in large blocks was four wide by I think probably five long maybe four and a half long which would be about right for a, a truggy this well, is the maximum size if it's going to be a top engineer thing or if every week we have a different viewers car do a lap oh that would be perfect and you know leaderboard as to who's got the fastest car yeah damn right damn right yeah, yeah there we go and then you come on to drive your own vehicle yep well, you could do that, or we could get, I don't no. know, our stick. We could get our stick to do it. That's a good point. Yeah. Because then, That's you know, they, they know the track pretty well, so we can put the cars to the limit. All right, our stick. Our stick, he likes a good cuppa. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. I just want to hear our stick. That's what I thought. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, right. Let's try and get a track laid down in this now. we got we got space. we got an area. Mm -hmm. At the moment, it's very wasted. I'm not mad. <laughs> I'm not even disappointed. I'm just exasperated these days. Right. I wonder, is McMuffin still present in chat? Because if he is, he could also tell me what minimum track size they were using. The width will be maintained the whole way around the track. There will be a minimum width based upon this same scale. And that's the only bit we're missing to lay down the actual track, I think. We might be able to work it out with the number of lanes it's got. It's that one, two, three, four, five lanes across the width, essentially. If you were to split the track up into lanes, which is basically how you draw these things when you're doing them from planning perspective on graph paper. Oh, but our stick is very morph. I, the idea of morph as the stick sounds... It would be like making wedge the stick. Which would be like oh, wow. making Thank you. which would be like making Richard Hammond the stick. It's just like no, he will kill himself. <laughs> I 
How many crashes has Richard Hammond had now? That's what I'm saying. TV? You know, that's why he, he could never be the stick, because he will kill himself. I love the fact that you can do it longer if you hold shift. It just <laughs> ignores the arbitrary 101 thing. So do we have any idea as to the width what? of the track? Wait, what? One hundred two plus one three three. We did know. Yeah, we do know what width the track is because I just built it. It's fifty-eight times three. It's fifty-eight no, I mean, times four, isn't it? Which was the width. Uh, the width of the lane. Sorry, the width of the lane. It's two hundred and thirty-four divided by five, I believe, ish. Yeah, yeah. You you beat me to it. God damn it. <laughs> Look at the picture, it's the width of two actual cars. Yeah, so uh, what are we talking about? We're talking about 235 divided by 5. That's a bit of annoying. It's a bit of an annoying one. Um, calculator, where are you? 47. Help me. 47. Cleanly? Or with one block spare? Because it does look like there might be. Wait, so it's got wait, it's gonna be forty seven blocks wide each lane. Oh not the lane, but you know what I mean. Essentially, yeah, there is a little bit of a gap in between them, but for the most part the lanes butt up against each other. So assume forty six blocks wide hmm. for each one with a two block lane gap in the middle, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna draw that out now just as a bit of a grid. You get 46, and then you have You can spawn I can spawn the planet bigger, but I'm not that bothered. The curvature is not gonna make much difference to this. If anything, it'll add to the realities because there's no way the track itself is level. It might look level in the in the pictures, but it ain't. <laughs> no way. Uh, I think your maths might lie to me. Two hundred and thirty-five divided by five. No, I, I've screwed up. Too many extra block gaps in. Hmm. Is it not two hundred and thirty five? Wasn't it? Check, I can't remember now. I thought it was 58 times... Oh, right, yeah, 58. N no amount times times 4 ends up in 235. Uh, yes, this is a bit of a problem. <laughs> Yay, late night maths! <laughs> How wide is actually this fucking track? It's alright, it's decided now that I'm allowed to do more than 101 blocks for some reason, so... I can actually measure it and tell you how far off of correct I was. No, don't you dare be 235. That will just break my head. Then I won't know what to do. It's 235. All these numbers that you're saying have broken my head, so good job. <laughs> So it's three blocks wider than it should be. And still doesn't divide by 46. Which I could have told you, surely. No, it must. No, that does make sense. No, it doesn't. Not to get 32. Four sixes are not 32. Four sixes are 24.
unfortunately, a Mergi Yeti in chat saying rip off one wall and replace it is basically correct. For all intents and purposes. Who's this for? Is it me? It's me! Yeah. Alright, so we're deleting a wall then. We're deleting three blocks off of it. Alright, shall we go for this far side wall then? It's fine. I, 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 well, yeah, you, you get on the deleting, I'm getting on the rebuilding of the building of the next one. Space Engineers is not liking this. Oh, for fuck's sake. I got the entire way to the other end and then it decided I wasn't holding the button down anymore. Stop that! Capping out at 257. So 250 by 310, 360, correct. Good, so the width is about right. All right, you should, Wedge, be able to disconnect now because I've attached a bar across it inside. So if you were to disconnect on that end and this end and in the middle. Oh, for fuck's sake, I've been deleting the other side already. Lol. And the hard way. Yeah. So basically, this is your uh, your teaser for Top Engineers. This is exactly what it's going to be like. Yeah, pretty much. Cooperation. <laughs> These are terms that are alien. Five or six lanes, everyone's reckoning. That sounds about right. Still towards the wet keyboard fund, Crazy Ivan's Delivery Protection Fund. Delivery Protection Fund? What on earth? You have to explain this concept to me. He is a bit of a nutcase, but yeah. Thank you, Valet. <laughs> donation from Valet. Thank you, man. You are a legend. I can definitely say a massive thank you to the stream donations as well, because I, I am drinking cold beer from my very own fridge. And that is only because of stream donations, to be honest. <laughs> I'm literally attributed to that. Why do I have a new fridge? Well... Because people on the stream kind of donated enough that I could afford a new fridge. Which was good, except for the effort needed. Wedgie can probably fill you in on uh, exactly sort of how you would get up to my my kitchen, having experienced my house. And then he could probably fill you in on how you would hopefully get a just under two meter tall, just over 80 kilogram fridge up there. Oh, you do it by breaking your back in the process? Something like uh, that. Three people's, actually. Oh, three. Got a triple back breaker, good job. Oh, yeah, yeah, I don't just break my own back. I, I get others involved. So, the width of the track is now correct. I still don't believe the number we're looking for is 46. We should brother one of these people that uh, you crippled. Yes, yes, I did. I did have a good shot at crippling my brother, yes. I'm sure he loves you. Right. So, are we are we happy with this width then? Oh. Uh, I believe I'm about to find out for sure. 45 long.
Was it? It was forty-six. It divided by right. Yeah. What was the number? Yeah. Two three two. Okay. And it's not forty-six. No. Two three two is not forty-six. Thirty-two divided by four is eight. So it's forty-eight. Right. So that's that's a forty-six gap up to there. So if we ignore that and put a two gap there, then we should be able to get another forty-six gap along, and there's our lane separation, which is perfect. Excellent then. So. So it, it's, it's that each lane is 46 wide, and then there is a two-block gap in between each lane, essentially, in the grid that's going to end up being how this thing ends up being drawn, if you know what I mean. Oh, I wish they would finally separate bloody spectator controls from block selection. Question is, is it possible for me to get it wrong again? I'm willing to believe that there's a decent potential of this, but I don't know exactly how high. And I haven't dared to look across at chat and find out whether or not they've already figured out that I've got it massively wrong. We need to finish this, because otherwise the clench will not be complete. It's wrong! The last one is 40. What are we deleting now, then? Another wall. No. No, 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 no. No, I'm not doing divided by four, Zero Scout. I'm doing divided by five. And that is why I fucked up. Is because, yeah. I divided some of it by five, four, and some of it by five. Instead of just using the fucking calculator that I have open in the background and accepting that I'm crap. And guess what the number is? It's 46.4. And that's where the problem lies. It's always a point four, isn't it? So it is 46, but the point 0.4 is going to be a bit of a, a weird one. So for every three, one of the lanes is going to be wider than the rest. And the rest are going to be 45 with a single block gap, a two block gap between them, basically. Well, here's the thing. If it's going to be built with voxel hands on the surface of the planet, is it really going to matter that much if it's one or two blocks out somewhere? Uh, you want it, yeah. It, you want it to be relatively close, just on the basis that if you don't, people will not have the room to pass each other. Yeah, you know, th there's a reason that tracks are built this sort of relatively specific factor wide. If you know what I mean. I'm just thinking, is, isn't one large block like 25 centimeters? We're ignoring that because for the scale comp uh, calculation, it really doesn't matter. We, okay. we can base it purely off just number of blocks. So yes, I think it's, yeah, the straight is going to be, the back straight, is it the back straight that's going to be super narrow? Haha, <laughs> that's nasty, because the back straight's the, the one that's going to fuck your perspective up the most as well. I might narrow this middle lane instead, what was that, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, yeah. I'm looking at the back straight as well, and are they bumps in it? Yeah. Oh boy. Oh yeah, it's Messed an aggressive track. It's an aggressive yeah. track. Right, Messed you... up perspective and bumps, wonderful. Right, yeah, sorry. Can you help me extend out? If you look in the middle, you'll see there's... We've got the grid lined up, basically. Game of Galaxy, mm. you went to bed, dude. 
and thus from bed you can't still be donating. That's not how it works. <laughs> it's definitely so, not possible to do that at the same time. I mean, thank you, and and I appreciate that apparently you've got back up out of bed in order to donate more of the wonderful Danish krona. Which even if they arrived in Danish krona, I would still be able to spend because I do tend to. I need to visit Denmark at some point soon. In fact. Lovely country, massive fan of Copenhagen, um, and yeah, got a lot of friends over there. Yeah, he gave up on sleep, although he is referring to himself in the third person, which is, if nothing else, a def definite sign that you've given up on sleep. Veggie, mm -hmm. you have misaligned some of what you've put down. Don't be part of the problem, Veggie. Well, I've only misaligned half of it. <laughs> okay, now I need to get the one in this way right, which will intrinsically be the same spacing. What else did I try and build like? I've tried to build something else like this by building this grid over the top of it in order to give you the, the scale necessary to figure out how to fit everything in. But I can't remember what it is. It might have been another RC track, honestly. Qualified ESA engineer? That sounds cool. Going to design a craft on Discord? Designer craft design. Cool. Okay. Hit me up. I'm always interested to see. Uh, we made, we made. I have a track already that is, um, for all intents and purposes, Montreal redone in in Space Engineers. That's what it's modelled on. It, it wasn't perfect, I have to admit, uh, but it's close, close enough that you should be able to recognise it from above if you know your tracks well enough. You know, if, it, it, if you're familiar with with your world tracks that are used in sort of international racing, at least, then it's one that you should be able to go. Oh, and that's Montreal. I can tell because of X, X, and X. Which I thought was quite cool. Had some help with it as well with that one. As usual. Although that, that was more with sort of general stream help. I built the layout out. And then a whole bunch of people came in and helped me sort of finish off the barriers, basically. Because the barriers alone was a massive amount of work. That's assuming that still loads. I did try and start this evening on an old map I'd made. Uh, Off-road sort of racetrack that had a mixed terrain. I was going for something rally orientated for that. So lots of long track, time trial. Uh, and with lots and lots and lots of um, quite sort of uh, challenging tight sections and, and changes of terrain and other weird shit. But unfortunately, that map is broken. Does not load. This will mostly fit again, except for one point where one of the lanes is going to be a weird size. Oop, that was not what I meant to do. Looks to be this last lane. How small is it going to be? 25. Wow, that's tiny. There's more lanes than we need, really. I 
That's fine. I think we can work with what we've got here. I'd say so. It's got dock. It's time to fix that. Oops. Uh, about there, I think. And let's not have you move. I also think, given that it looks like... How long are we going for? An hour and 15 minutes? That my beverage has become empty. It's time to make use of the fridge, as mentioned. And just at the same time, grab myself up a slightly better reference image. Because at the moment, I've got an image up, but I can't really see it. So, <laughs> while I've driven this track plenty, it'd be nice to have a, a, a reminder of some of where the bumps that, honestly, you don't really notice. There are some bumps on this track that actually don't matter or do anything. Uh, in the real driving, I imagine in Space Engineers, they'll probably be a dip little bit different. Little, little bit different. We have done so already, Trekker Joe. We have a dummy vehicle. Chat is triggered. Chat is triggered hard shit. What did I do? And not use the escape key. Whoa. Chat is. Chat is way triggered. Oh, great. That's I'll, just what we need. I'll leave them to it. I'll leave them to it. It'll be fine. They can have, a, they can have some time on the BRB screen. It'll be perfect. Look, some chill music, some BRB screen, you'll be fine. Oh crap, that track's finished. It's coming next. Oh, there you go. We're, we're fine. I thought it was going to be some... There's, there's some fairly heavy stuff in there. It's like, come back and chat. It's a riot. Got their pitchforks out. Wait, chat, chat's getting, chat's getting way worked out. They're not just pitchforks, but like swords and bows and so on. Don't make me bring out the hammer. I've got the hammer. Look, there he is. I warned you. Don't make me bring it out. Just so happens to be hanging around. Look. Because, of course, I have a transparent PNG of a hammer just available in OBS. Why wouldn't I? Okay, it is time for the infinite voxel hands. Where is our rostrum going to go? Do we have an opinion? Where's the sun? The sun goes from east to west, but which way is that? That's the problem when you set it to be midday. Okay. So I will be inclined to put our 
rostrum on that side. Cool. Rostrum's over here. And... Oh, oh no. No, no, no. In Space Engineers, normally you'd put the rostrum there because it would stop you from getting blinded. But in Space Engineers, what you probably want to avoid is shadows. So we're about 300 meters. We're 360 across, right? So we need 180 as the center point. There's our center point. Ah, uh, why should we have our rostrum? And might as well make it. S what was the the magical number? There isn't a magical number. Uh, we can do it in degrees, though, so 60 works. And... Then it's just a question of what height makes sense for this get ourselves a view over what we're trying to drive around. I don't think that's going to be high enough. I uh, doubt it. Unless you really want to mess with people. Uh... Uh, actually, the perspective for this is is about right. It, it would not be... An RC rostrum would not be much higher than this. Because it does mess with your perspective on the on the back straights, it really does. Well, if it's going to mess with them, might as well so mess with them good. You, you, you could probably do another ten blocks up. I think that would be the maximum height you could go with before you start to really sort of. I don't know abuse the the reality of, of what you, your point of view would be. Part of the skill is getting used to the fact that your perspective really fucks itself up the further the car gets away. And some tracks really do mess with that and some tracks really don't. And some tracks are quite kind to you about what they stick on the back straight. But just compare this point of view right now to the point of view from the GoPro. You know, it is about the same angle, you know. All right, so where do we start? I think, uh, do you want to... Do you want to work on a border for the straight? Uh, can and do, yeah. I will try and position... Oh, actually, do you want to try and position the bridge? And I'll start voxel handsing. Because I think okay. I'm probably more confident with that. Do you want to... Yeah, do you want to start trying to position sort of uh, landmarks? And I'll start voxel handing my way around. Okay then. So. I was gonna. I was gonna say, do you want to sort of lay out the basics of the track with blocks for the whole of it, or do we just want to jump straight in for the voxel hands? No, I'm, I'm thinking layout, sort of like um, track borders and stuff. Like so, the uh, the the barrier between lanes can be blocks. Mm. Um, but but everything else should really be voxels, except for if you you may not be able to see, but underneath the bridge in the centre, it's paved. That is a paved section. So that can be blocks as well. But the rest of it, I think, should be. Fairly standard. What was the width here? 46. This is a bit of a, a brave way of doing it, but maybe this will work. I'll take a save before I give it a go. Yeah. Oh, actually, maybe snap to voxel grid helps in this scenario. I don't know. I don't normally use it. Oh no, 46 isn't actually our number, is it? Our number is 46 times 2.5, so... Max and then some. 
and this ramp upwards begins quite So I found, and Wedgie will likely agree with me, the best trick you can do with voxel hands is spend a lot of time on this portion of things. The setup portion, where you're trying to line your line your, yourself up and, and as much time as possible. If you want if you want to get it right and only have to do it kind of once, which is really important with voxel hands, because the more you fuck, the more yeah, the more you mess with it, the more troublesome it's going to become, basically. So it really helps to spend plenty time just making sure that if you're going to draw a line, it's exactly the line you want it to be. And then once you're sort of confident of that, then by all means go for it. I wouldn't now, know. I never use voxel hands. Another I, thing... I, Uh, I, I was about to do something silly, so it's just fine. Continue. I don't know. It just scare the shit out of me, if I'm honest. So I just I leave them alone. They cause crazy lag, and normally you get things wrong rather than right. Exactly. Which is which is why I just don't touch them. I mean, I just cause crazy lag as it is. I have a tendency to break everything. There we go. I'm feeling that. Bloody hell. Yep. You will. But by keeping it kind of relatively level, by planning myself first, I've kind of managed to pull off the, the smooth surface that's very hard to manage with voxel hands. Now I'm going to have to bank this thing up. But like with all RC tracks, the way they sort of banked it up was by piling dirt at the edges originally. Now what I was hoping to do, and this may, that's worth saving, uh, this may screw things up is, no it's not that way, right, it's the other way. I wish you could, you see the speed with which these things rotate, I wish you could adjust that speed that that's happens, that, the speed that that happens, because you can do some, some funky stuff if you could. Uh, it's that yeah, let's look at the speed which that changes. Um, yeah, if you could adjust that then I could maybe you can imagine what I'm trying to do here is build a bank corner. I could drive backwards doing this, which would give me the bank. And if, if I if I did it right, I could drive backwards, turn at the same time. Alright, I, I you can adjust the turn speed, so this speed is, is controllable. And you could drive backwards and turn at the same time and draw yourself a really nice curve with it. Like a super smooth, super perfect Foxhall Hands curve. But this is not going to let me do that because, yeah, I can't change the speed of, of that voxel bit rotation. The other problem with doing this rotation that I've been doing with this is eventually you fuck the thing up and it's no longer level. <laughs> then what do you do with it? So instead, we're going to draw some some corners by let's uh, adjust the width of this thing. That and the depth is still alright. So we're going to try and set ourselves up to it's wrong way. Slow this down as well. If we I was hoping to be able to actually kind of create a, like I do with the camera pans, create myself sort of a path with the voxel hands tool where I could, this is not something I've tried before I have to admit, um, where I could kind of 
arrange things right so that I could sort of reverse and turn and so on at once to make myself a nice bank corner. But that doesn't seem to be happening. But maybe I can reverse and turn at a sensible speed to make it work. Maybe. You can see why it would be nicer to have this thing leaning over slowly as you did. Another annoying factor, unfortunately, is with um, spectator tool. You notice how I'm holding W at the moment uh, and it's travelling at this speed. If I hold space, look how much faster it goes when you're actually strafing. You move quicker when you're strafing than when you're just straight going up and down, even in spectator mode. So it means that you can't do pans that cover all the axis. Bit of a pain in the ass. Yeah, and the problem with voxel hands, and number one geek says voxel hands is a pain in the ass, it just is really tough to not go, that'll do. And, and yeah, I 100% agree with you. Voxel hands is one of those tools that's just, that you, it makes you want to give up real fast. Um, but I think it gets some really good results if you can be asked to take the time. It's just even more frustrating when you're doing it in spectator mode and Space Engineers is busy playing it. Oh, by the way, those keybinds are shared with every other key under the sun. <laughs> okay, so we angle a bit fast there, but otherwise pretty good. These tools also get really annoying, some of them, because as you change them, they end up becoming more and more like out of alignment with something that actually makes any sense at all. So now I'm trying to turn this to the angle that I actually want it to be at, so we, in order to sort of continue this corner in chunks instead, is starting to become like uh, what? That makes no sense. One of these ones rotates it in the direction I want it to be. No! Ah! This, this is the point where I get to where the voxel heads, these voxel heads tools, where I, I start to just lose the plot with it because it's just like, uh, which way around am I supposed to be even be rotating this bollocks? Oh well, at least I've settled on a way to actually do it. Although I need to really loosen the angle of this thing out a bit. I've gone a bit over steep. As I'm losing track of how to rotate this stupid block. That, no. Yeah, that could work because it's 100% a thing coming off the back of this particular, particular jump that exists. Oh fuck! Now I've really screwed up. It 
someone said to me, we were start we were talking about this stream in Discord. And if you fancy joining Discord, guys, that's somewhere that I, I chat in a lot. Uh, and is linked down in the video description, of course. Uh, but we were talking about this stream prior to it starting on Discord. And someone said that I I was fine to do a voxel hand stream on Discord because everything would be okay. You lied. You lied, sir. <laughs> I need to stop using the stupid triangle for this and just use this, because it's for what I'm trying to do, it's way better. Because I understand how to rotate it, which is in itself some kind of massive victory. It just doesn't suddenly decide that it's got a different center point to previously. You're going to fill in voxel terrain and try and fix mistakes you've made, always do it from underneath and bring it up. You have so much more control because you can decide when to stop. Yeah, I should have switched to this tool, like, quite a while ago. Oh my god, the, the mythical undo button. Whispered of in, in dreams only. You know there are... There are actually sandbox games that have such a thing. I think Gary's Mod's got an undo button. It's not even just Gary's Mod, no, no, no. Far more than that. Like, the... I mean, if, if we're moving slightly more seriously, saying like there's direct competitors in space engineers that have undo buttons. Which is just kind of beautiful. Is this like dual universe? Uh, no, even some that are out. Oh. Alright, so what we're having suffering from here is that this thing is not high enough to actually do its job properly. And that wall is a bit on the uh, bit on the extreme side. Let's chill you out, my friend. It's a bit of a slope there, but oh, fuck. No! Ah, <coughs> damn it! What happened then? I just sort of chucked a missing chunk into the the stuff I'd done that so far, which again, voxel hands, chances of correcting that in any sort of smooth fashion is just zero. Isn't there a way of building voxels in something like Blender? I think there is, yeah, because someone's been doing some pretty cool uh, stuff with sort of custom like voxel models on the workshop so mm. there's clearly some way of doing something a bit beyond the the norm if you know what I mean well I'm still kind of clinging on to sanity a bit at least. I think I recovered this a little. The thing is to work as a racetrack it does need to be super smooth and you need to not do things like what I just did there for example. Or what I just did there. Hands, we love you. Now I'm just getting impatient. I can't afford to do that. I 
I was going to say as well, um, if that's the main straight, then could this curve be starting a bit too soon? No, it's the curve. Uh... Oh, shit. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Oh. Oh, I see. <laughs> I wouldn't mind, but you're only blowing up the bit that I did. That's perfect. And with that, it's back to the studio. Hey, that's my life. <laughs> Look, everything's fine now. I mean, yeah, I could have just moved it along two more sections, but whatever. I did that shit, to be honest. Okay, call that the dry run then. I just did it really badly. Yeah, this, this is better. We got the start of the ramp raise and nothing else. All right. I get to try again. I'm sorry, Wedgie, but you've lost your the basis for your bridge. Okay. Before we start dicking round in box with voxels, shall we do the whole layout of the track with the blocks to give us a general idea? Just so you want me to do it sensibly. Legit. Well, yeah, but it'll mean that you keep your sanity in the long run and you won't have to notice something. Okay. Okay. It, no, no, not okay. Not okay. Um... Maybe. Maybe. It's going to be at the wrong height, is the problem. And some of the corners are going to be a nightmare. This, this, is, this is what I am afraid. Well, I don't know that. It's just a nightmare. What's the deal? Well, this uh, this whole thing's a nightmare. You I mean you wanted to build a massive racetrack with voxels? That's yeah. just asking for trouble. Yeah, I know. So get going. I can't even see on what part of the planet Earth you're even on. Really? It's huge. Oh, there we go. Oh, cool. Qualified ESA and engineer has sent uh, RC Croft design on Discord. I'll check that out afterwards, man. Sounds intriguing. 
Right, so if I am intelligent and only rotate this in the correct directions... Oh no, I'm about to do it again, aren't I? I almost. This needs to just go up on a very gentle slope. No more than that. I need to look back after the stream on Discord and see who it was. Which culprits encouraged me that a, a, a voxel hand stream was a good, plan, good idea? Right, you're going to have a lynch mob or something? Yeah. Yeah, they owe me in some way, shape or form. I don't know how yet, but I'm going to find a way in which those, those guys owe me. This is exactly the sort of thing that, much like the, plan, the original planets map, should be done off stream because it takes hours to do correctly. Like, literally hours to do properly. Not, not, not a couple of hours, a lot of hours. To do in a way that won't just be a disappointing mess at the end of it. This is the sort of thing that if it, if it gets done anywhere, it should be done on Twitch. Where people seem slightly more willing to tolerate long periods of utter failure. In the hope of eventually something worth at the end of it. Although, let's be very clear, I said hope rather than anything more than that. Uh, why is it... Tilting off into the air. Because scale wise, that's what seems to suggest. Um, uh, are you sure? Uh, no. Oh. No. Yes, the, the, the chat has come round to discussions of Top Engineer and and which way round we fit. And unlike when this chat came up with me, Chak and Morph, which it has done so on streams, uh, and as I've kind of mentioned to the guys as well, there is no question which way round we go. The absolutely none with us three. <laughs> Especially as demonstrated by the fact that what happened after the reload... I immediately just went ham with exactly the same idea and fucked it up again. So it, it, it's basically what I've done is, is I've gone and got a bigger hammer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Before you get your hammer out, let's try and be intelligent about this. I ain't taking that from a hamster. God damn it. <laughs> 240p and buffering. You say others reporting the same issue. Where? Where are they reporting the same issue? Or is that just as a general thing? I thought you meant potentially on my stream. Penta Silver Graves. <laughs> the five, five pound donation, sorry. I only asked if you were streaming tonight, so this isn't my fault. Plus a small donation to the beer replacement fund. It's fine. Um, what we can do is we can just paste this in somewhere else. And as Omega Yeti has said, just as I sort of dawned on me as well, the way to do this is to start from the middle of the corner so you know where the corners are. The corners are important. The straight lines connecting them are really not where you should begin. That's the easy bit. I love how the, the, the map I've copy-pasted to paste somewhere else just decides that first things first, let's let's paste in upside down because, you know, why not? You didn't copy-paste me upside down, but hey, where's the fun if we don't do something a bit weird? There we go. I have moved her to another location.
Do you uh, have like coordinates or anything? This location is full of holes. Oh joy. Okay, so the rest of the surface of the map is pockmarked, apparently. If you're not on one of the two squares that are in this test area, area, the rest of it is just pockmarked with stuff, like meteor impacts. I don't know if they were testing how the meteor system worked or what, but... There's a nice clear area just over here. Will you say my name? But it's thinking of her. Can I have a, uh, a med bay so I can find it? No. Oh. I haven't painted it yet. Oh. <sighs> this is a good reason. Why, because of the meteor holes that you're going to flatten over anyway and you're never going to know there are there. And no, it's, I'm not gonna, it's triggering I don't, you. I, I don't want to flat. Uh, no, I don't want to touch most of the track. <laughs> You'll never voxel hands a smoother surface as 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 spawns normally. So I don't want to touch as much of the track as possible. You know. Uh, I should probably give you power for that no bit as well. I think this is probably going to be the least productive stream that I've ever done. Because so far, what we've done is move around. We, we built a grid and that isn't actually a grid, and then we moved it around a few times. You built a jump at least once, maybe twice. Wasted needs to build his own damn planet. Well, I could do. Uh, so I'm gonna start again. I need a faction, don't I? You shouldn't do, it should be nobody. You might need to refresh. Not only that, but I, I also need to, when I'm doing this, let's do this as an engineer. Because what I'm losing is perspective on the gravity of the planet as well. And because of that, I'm building things far steeper than they really should be. Like, this corner is that sort of angle at best. Clever there, I wouldn't have moved. Oh, look what it's doing. Why is this naturally aligning with the gravity of the planet when I'm as an engineer and not otherwise? What the fuck? Can you see how it's rotating automatically to match the planet gravity? And yet, when I was doing this from a spectator point of view, it's not. That's weird. Wasted, you built armor slab. Okay. Um, when and where and what? I've been building voxels for god knows how long. Can't be too much armor slab going on. It probably feels longer than it is, but... Hmm. Oh! It's because it's on snap to voxel grid. Interesting. Uh, still not showing up. I built an armor slab, not a battery. That's what they're trying to tell me. That would be why it's not slowing up. I guess. So I did. That would be yeah. So I did. Okay, I take it back. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Uh, it's still not in the list. Can you just stick a beacon on it or something? Why is a beacon gonna help? 
because I can fly to it in spectator and then spawn my body there. Just like, how does that help you spawn? That makes no sense. What kind of black magic are you talking here, Wedgie? <laughs> but no, that makes far more sense. And bacon has been placed. That's the range on and bacon. Uh, not very long. long. It's unfortunate that, isn't it? Yeah. You know what, being, being put snaps to voxel grid might actually be a good idea for this to keep it sort of vaguely level with the planet. It means it sort of adjusts itself as I go around corners. Stops me from making something that's way like stupid angle for some, but what makes sense for sort of how the planet's curvature is working because that was what was happening previously, to be honest. However, it is resulting in this rubbish. Which I can tell you, you don't want to drive over. Yeah, I'll just send you a GPS point. Plants and Tubs asking if your bacon brings all the boys to the yard. It does. Bacon's a tricky beast, to be honest. There's more to cooking some good bacon than you would expect. Well, if you actually want good bacon. You know, no fake. That's fortunate. I spawned right next to it upon reload. No, this track might be not that unreasonable to drive on. I mean, from where you see it, some of the voxels might not have loaded in uh, properly, but... Well, that's because I've been building it. This is, this is all freshly built. Alright, yeah, there's there's a bit here that might be a bit funky. And, and also, I yeah, I also went over the top of some of the stuff that went weird. I might have missed a bit, but yeah. The problem with that Dragon Valerie, and it's a great idea, and Dragon Valerie is suggesting that I just build it up from the projected voxel setting, which is the one that enables you to... So you've got this projector voxel, and it literally just puts it where you're looking. Um, which is a good idea, and suggesting that I just sort of build it up as it is. The problem is this does the same thing as we were just seeing back there, where it creates a very ridged sort of existence, a very ridged version of things. So there's a corner here that's going to be a bit sort of it's slightly angled towards us but not very much uh, and and it's going to come into a very steep turn but if i just sort of line this up with projector voxel grid and then try and draw i mean all oh right there you go Shit. i'm glad i saved before i did that wedgie i'm reloading okay <laughs> that that was a mess because yeah you can you can Oh, sorry, Valier. Dragon Valier. I apologize. I did indeed mess up your right name. Messed up your right name. Mess up your last name. It's 2.25. Leave me be. Oh, for fuck's sake, that's not the save I just took. This isn't even in the same place. No, know what, Are you done? No, I'm not done. I'm suggesting that instead of, of, of beating ourselves up trying to make this, let's make this when I'm fresh. 
you guys have got an idea already of the size and what we're talking about. We're not going to apparently not going to get to show you this track this evening because clearly I once again had an eye bigger than my belly. But I do have a couple of other race tracks that might be quite interesting to people, including a fresh one from Johnny uh, from Janonymous. So you guys who have been on the Twitch stream side of things will know that both I'm a bit of a fan of making RC racing tracks, but also there is a fellow that's been joining the stream recently that has made some pretty cool racing tracks for us so far. Let's see if I can find it. It might be that I need to create a new world. But the point of this will be, we will get you guys in to come and join us and we'll do a bit of multiplayer to finish up because, hey, that's fun. Assuming I can actually find what I'm talking about, I, I, I kept seeing it earlier and now I can't even find the damn thing. <laughs> Yeah, you know, this is the point where you feel like, you know, wouldn't it be cool if space engineers had a search for save games, for example? That's not his new one. Right, two sex workers. Let me check Discord. He sent me plenty of messages with this stuff. And you guys are always welcome to contact me on Discord. Again, link's down in the video description. And if you've got something you think is interesting, then hit me up. Built another track, here it is. What is it called, my friend? Built another track. It's called Easy Start Racetrack Green. That would be why I uh, I can't find it. Because that is most definitely not what I am looking for. <laughs> Wasted space, dear Wasted, can we please have someone said old firing? What? Game of Galaxy, old firing explosions? What am I missing? Old firing explosions? No, what? There it is. Easy Start Racetrack Mania? No, it's called Easy Start Racetrack Green. Wouldn't it be cool if Space Engineers had all of these things, I think is... <laughs> I think that's asking phrasing. too much. Uh, another thing, if you guys want to hit me up with this, uh, this was something we were... Well, that was funky. Ah, it, it's BT's time to force disconnect me. Let's hope the YouTube stream picks back up again. It's got the spinny circle of death at the moment. I think we're back. My ISP apparently likes to uh, disconnect people that have been transmitting or receiving lots of data for a long period of time, like you might do for, say, if you were streaming, for example. So I think that's what just happened there. Yes, and uh, how much did you hear? Was was I was I quoting good loading screen tips yet or not? Hello? Uh. Look at this beauty. Yeah, what the hell? So, I would like to introduce you folks to probably the only guy I've ever seen do, like, really, really super legitimate fucking um, pixel art in Space Engineers. I mean, look at this. I And I know he he's done it through uh, Space Engineers Toolbox by, rather than doing it in-game, but still... 
I mean, it's just cool. Oh, that should have been the thumbnail for this evening. I can't help but feel like uh, stuff has gone fucked up. There we go. My chat's back in. We're back alive again. Look at that. Is it not just like absolutely awesome? Like really, really puts together. Look at these. And the trees, I, I mean, this guy has got some serious talent. I, d I don't know if he's drawing the pixel art himself or whatever, but it is fantastic. It is legitimately fantastic. In a, in a such a classic old school way. The only thing he could potentially do is duplicate them and go for the... Um... I can't copy and paste. Where's my creative tools? There we go. Is it... it... What? What's happening here? Oh, Jesus. Oh, they're all connected together underground. Oops, mistake was made. Oh my God. Yeah, it, it is just like full deja vu, isn't it? Oh, no. I clicked. Um, what the hell? As a space engineer, I'm completely frozen. But, as spectator, I can move around. And then, look at this thing from above as well. No, it's not lag. It's um, it's it, it's clang. I, I I have no other way of. I can't turn my UI on either. My UI won't turn on. What have I done to this game? How is that even possible? It's a whole new kind of clang. Just how even. It's really not your night tonight, is it? Apparently not. I should have known this as well. I'd already made the decision that I couldn't, that I wasn't going to do streaming this evening. I was just like, nah, you know what? We got a new series starting next week. Tonight's like, it, and that's probably going to go on for a bit. Tonight's going to be night off. I'm surprised that you weren't feeling the same and actually came on TeamSpeak, to be honest. Because <laughs> I'm thinking to myself, okay, so Top Engineer starts. I mean, hopefully we can keep a one-week schedule. Maybe not, we don't know. But either way, it just felt like one where it was like, yeah, nah, nah, not tonight. Let's have a night off. I, I streamed on Friday, but that way. It was an extra stream. You had to come on Discord and find me, didn't you? When I was having a, having a happy chat. Talking with the folks, and, and, and folks were like, "Well, actually, wasted. The only reason we're talking to you is because we thought there was going to be a stream." And then I feel guilty. And I'm like, "Oh yeah, well, that is a point." Don't tell me the map doesn't even load now. I was having trouble earlier with maps just straight up not loading. A whole bunch of old maps of mine just not working, and. It looks like it's happening. Did, have, you, have any of you guys ever noticed that the cogs... I don't know. I think this is this has only recently been changed. The, the hole in the center of the cogs is not centrally aligned. The gap between the cogs widens and narrows as they go around. On all three layers. And it's been driving me nuts ever since I noticed. So why are they not centered? I hate you for telling me that why now. Why have you not centered the fucking cogs? Enter the fucking cogs. Or, if you're not going to center the cogs, you want to go for something that looks a bit more organic, don't make them spin at a regular speed. Change the speed. Because the speed had 
have been bugging me for a while. I'm just like, don't, don't spin at a regular speed. Make them look a bit more organic. Make them spin so that they're not constantly aligned with each other like they are. Which they are, constantly. But no, no, there's a little gap there where they're not quite aligned. Not quite aligned. Uh, probably because I had some connection problems, Gaming Galaxy, and it will have screwed up the stream a bit, most likely. Not only has it screwed up the stream a bit, but it's also apparently introduced the infinite loading screen bug. Um, uh, this is the point where I start to run out of ideas as to what exactly I could do. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I probably shouldn't have told you guys, actually, should I? I should have been the better man and kept that to myself. Having noticed it this evening, I should have been that guy that was just like, no, I'm above this. I, w I have broad shoulders. I will take it. I will take it upon me. I thought, I thought they changed it. I thought they changed it. And recently, I'm starting more increasingly to think that I just never noticed somehow after 2600 hours of space engineers and staring at that fucking spinny cog thing and thinking why are they all in line with each other change the timing god damn it suddenly i go oh hang on oh hang on they're not even centered what what No madness in this stream. No, sir. What's happening with group survival? Actually, I have some news. Ish. Uh, the last update on group survival was uh, Morph AWOL, basically. Uh, we 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 kind of got to the point where we'd given up, kind of covering up a little bit for for the fact that Morph had just basically disappeared. And I mean, it's fair enough; he's moving country, but for the last four or so, five or so months, Morph has just been like the hardest person to communicate with that you could possibly imagine, uh, aside from occasional random moments, which is like, I bought a car. It's a Corvette. He's like, all right, Morph. Um, so, how's things going? At which point, you'll not hear anything from him for another fucking three weeks. So, it doesn't even respond to that question. Um, so, yeah. But, the point is, the point is, Morph has returned to, has returned to, has moved to Taiwan now. He is, he is in his location. And as such, we now know our time difference. We can now start planning things. The complication is definitely going to be that Morph is a full 12 hours time difference from Shaq. And like, it, it, I, I haven't even worked out why. It's got to be about six hours from me. So it's going to be a really fucking weird and fucked up schedule. No question. That is going to be interesting. But he is at least in a position where we can hear from him again and maybe recording his thing so that'll be good so welcome to finally now that it seems to be functional to some extent and hopefully multiplayer is disabled oh god you've got to be <clears throat> composure is the thing Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Waste Space Live. We're starting again. Uh, this is... Yes, there's been no stream so far. We're going to try out Johnonymous's Easy Start Racetrack. And and that'll be it for this evening. I'm just going to uh, put a little comment at the top saying, you know, click here for two hours, eight minutes for the actual start of the stream. <laughs> for the beginning of the stream. <laughs> But no, Genonymous makes some great tracks, some great vehicles. We've had a whole bunch of people in. We've done this with a full 16 people before. Uh, so that's the plan now. Why not just get a whole bunch of people in? Hey, look. It, it's that loading screen again. Sorry, if it makes you feel better, what I've been working on is creating, as, as mentioned, like we're going to do a skit on the real loading screens of SE. 
in which I retake all the screenshots to show what actually is happening, and I redo all of the loading screen quotes to show something far more appropriate. And if you guys have any ideas, hit me up on Discord or on Twitter with stuff, because I'm quite happy to add them in and sort of count those as, as contributions from the community. So a few we've got, yeah, we, we, we've had the, uh, we've got, did you know we didn't actually mean to put planets in the game? We were trying to create space bowling and ran out of time, so we just shipped it. <laughs> Or personal favourite so far, because it's a little bit mater. Did you know the airspeed of a fully laden African swallow is 104.3 metres a second? Which is a bit ma is a bit mater. And and Farrell Farrell is is the main contributor so far. Here's a here's a good. But yeah, I'm thinking do a video where we just like replace the space engineer's loading screen with like clang happening in all the screenshots or like all of the ion powered ships that they've got for some reason in planet atmosphere falling out of the sky in explosions like they should be and all that sort of stuff and add in like appropriate loading screen quotes like what you think the game is loading? Good luck with that. <laughs> So, what has Genonymous brought us this time, other than some amazing Space Engineers pixel art, which I almost want him to just make some pixel art for us, and just do like a big pixel art setup. Look at it! Look at this shit! It's fucking awesome! Yeah, maybe, maybe at some point this stream should have been a, let's just look at some of the shit that Genonymous has sent me. Uh, and talk about how fucking cool it is, because it is kind of fucking cool. And he has some great ideas for vehicles as well, alongside his his penchant for sort of uh, bit style, pixel style design. We've always got some cool vehicles, and they've always got some cool names. So you've got Acid Reflex. You have apparently unnamed, but it looks like some sort of cart, basically. <laughs> Why are these not named? What have I done? They're blatantly named. He, he doesn't not name them all. Donkey Daddy. Green Eggs and Spam. Back there. Oh, all right, I'm not looking in the right place. Little Mini. There we go. Little Mini. This one doesn't have an antenna. This is the stealth one, apparently. But it's like wacky races in Space Engineers, basically. You know, with like a whole bunch of different vehicle types and they all look like proper unique, especially with how he does the wheels and the floating mechanisms. The Piston Broke is one of my favorites so far. It's a text file. The Tetra. The Moose Knuckle. Uh, apparently unnamed, but I like it. I mean, look at these things. These proper wacky races. Proper wacky races. And then you've got, like, quite a cool track to go and race on as well. And they do race well. So, let me know when you're in Wedgie. And uh, anyone else that's got me on Steam Friends, feel free to jump in now. And then I'll open up to the public and we'll see if we can't do a little bit of racing. I'm in. I just don't know where the track is. Oh, is there no spawning point? It doesn't seem like it. Then let us get a welcome centre down. I've remembered who this was because he poked me recently. The welcome centre was something made for me by Aravale. Look at this. Uh, Tex, um, the stream's only just started. Uh, what you're meant to do is you're meant to ignore the first two hours and ten minutes. Yeah. And this is where the none of, that, stuck none of that actually existed. This is where we're beginning. We're, we're doing a stream on um, John Anonymous's racetrack. It's going to be a short one. Just a quick expose multiplayer test, you know. Hopefully it'll be fun. So thanks for joining me, folks. Uh, yeah. Joined tonight by Mr. Wedrock. How you doing, man? Uh, not bad, thanks. How are you? Yeah, decent, decent. Okay. 
I, I feel like pff, I'm, I'm glad I started the stream this late. If I'd started a stream, say, two hours and ten minutes ago, shit, man. It'd be difficult. I can imagine. I'm sure you can. See, so yes, Aravel kindly made me this, if I remember rightly. And it's just a cool thing to have. A little, little spawnable in, like... Because he, he obviously picked up on the fact that I was constantly doing multiplayer scenarios. I mean, every time I spawned into a game, what's the very first thing I had to do? Build a med station with like, all the relevant stuff. So instead of that, now I just paste in this beauty. Means it needs some logo work. Let me see, what can we do? We can do something about this quickly, I'm sure. Let's break out L trick. Uh, do you want the coloured one? Yeah, let's have the coloured one. So, let's edit this text. Welcome to Oasis Space. Nah. Let's have a bunch of question marks. And let's drop that down and go to... Oasis Space. Set you to white, I think. Oh no, the scale's wrong. On size. Uh... Oh, it's not going to centre on that screen. Oh, that's a shame. Oh well, it'll do. Ha ha ha! See you, Tex. Take it easy, man. Take care, Tex. That's pretty cheeky. Yeah, Whiplash has made a converter, it's up on the Keen forums, but basically it lets you take pretty much any uh, GIF, uh, not GIF, uh, JPEG or PNG, PNG, and convert it into a string that you can paste into an LCD screen, even in completely vanilla Space Engineers, and it will do that. Um, you just need to set like the right font for it, etc., and, and that's what it'll do. Pretty cool. Okay, so we've got a few people in so far. Let's do the big nasty. Bing! 16 players. Public game. Go on, folks. Get on board and show me how awesome YouTube can be. Because you guys are a great community. It's like, the, the, it. what, we have to occasionally ban someone once every month or so on a YouTube stream? What? So, so get in here. Let's have some racing. Don't mess around, don't paste stuff in, don't don't be stupid, just get in and let's have a race. There's enough vehicles for one each, let's get out there on the track, first 16 get in, first 16 are the ones that are racing, let's line ourselves up and, and have a laugh. Get your asses in here folks. Let's see what Space Engineers can handle when you've got a full 16 people trying to join someone that's actively streaming at 60 FPS to YouTube. It's, it's a recipe for win. Everything can go fine here. Everything. Hey, if you guys are up for this sort of thing, then... Hey, qualified ESA engineer. What, do you th this won't be the only stream I do on this stuff. Trust me, your, your design will come up, man. Don't worry. I, I'm still blown away by this. Look, look at that. Seriously. Too cool. Needs the right, needs the right sun though. Please tell me he's positioned. No, he hasn't. Uh, it's the only thing he hasn't done is got, got the positioning perfect for the sun. That's all we want. We want sort of golden hour sort of times. Bit of shadow, bit of contrast. But where's the best contrast to be had? It's, it's, it's sunset rather than sunrise. So there you go. The guy's done just an amazing job with create. I love when you see like proper creativity when it comes from a broker space engineers, you know, and that in my mind is proper creativity. 
I, I, I haven't seen something anything like that before. Like the, the the design of all of his ships and everything, that's really cool. He's built himself a proper ethos around it all. 100% down with that. But none of that really is anything truly new that I can go, hey, I've never seen this before. Whereas this sort of right, really high level, right, super absorbing the pixel art style and just going, yeah, fuck it. You know, you're playing Mario Kart. That's, that's fucking cool. That's really amazing, in my mind. There's some, something new that I haven't seen. Oh, we're at sunset, don't worry. There we go. She's low, sun is low in the sky. Move on to a night race. No spawn points. You should have spawn points. The, 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 the welcome center should be available. How has someone managed to get their car already upside down? That's me. Oh, right. Wedgie I'm, is a I'm doing the chisel. wedgie modification. <sighs> Wedge. It was so clear, and yet somehow you still managed to confuse things. Did you know? It's not low sim speed. The hamsters in your computers are out of pellets. <laughs> nice, Farrell. Stick that one on Discord. Ah! Holy shit! It's an out of control clockwork. Oh, not that out of control. It's getting a bit of practice on. These, these, the way these cars behave is perfect for space engineers as well. It, it, it's very much a, of an of the approach that. Okay, space engineers' wheels don't give you a, a good and enjoyable race. So instead, we're going to make our own approximation of how it should work. And I am so down with that that mindset and how it's worked out as well. Sorry, Harvey. That's kind of my job. I'm here. I'm here to be the frustratingly accurate Brit for the most part. Acid reflex. She looks cool. I need to pick a vehicle before these fuckers steal them. I suspect. I have this weird feeling that Lil Mini might actually be better than she looks. However, I'm also down with a bit of executive oversight, and Piston Broke is obviously the best name of the lot. In fact, I have to drive the Piston Broke just because it, it's just so appropriate. Piston Broke. Oh, yeah. Oh. OCX Devo. Remember me? The guy which had no message the last... 1,000 uh, Japanese yen, I believe so. Hope you're having a lovely evening. <laughs> Keep up with, with what you do. Thank you, man. I'm glad to hear a message from you this time instead of <laughs> last time. That's enough with, weird, with getting Japanese yen, which is an unusual one and pretty damn cool to hear that there's actually someone watching from somewhere that far away, which I imagine you must be to actually be donating in that currency. Uh, but yeah, nice to hear what you have to say as well, dude. Love it. I, I'm glad you enjoy the content, and not not only that, but obviously very grateful for people giving me the privilege of being able to do this sort of thing. It is most definitely one of those. I'm in quite a large vehicle, apparently, in comparison to what we're up against. But hey, people are lining up. Let's get let's get in order. Japanese yen has overtaken the DKK. I'm not sure how well YouTube interprets currency translations for that. I think it might just go by whichever's got the largest figure. <laughs> Either way, um, as I said, I'm massively appreciative of it. There, there is no question I would not be able to do this without you, you guys and the support I get from both, obviously, donations via streams and so on, and the Patreon supporters as well, because... Honestly, YouTube itself, at the moment, is not so great. It's not so great, if I'm honest. But everything else makes it work. And, uh, I don't know, hopefully I can justify 
the massive support you guys give me at some point. Oh god, the system is really... Are we facing the wrong... Are we all backwards? Everybody is backwards. Try again. <laughs> yeah, the lights are on this end. Uh, that means he probably has a starting system for the lights. Cool, okay, I need to go and locate that. We also, by the sounds of things, need to kick a certain kitty out of the damn room. Leave the, leave the cop alone, you bitch. Fuck's sake. Catty, cat has worked out, basically, that if you want my attention really quick, and that's because this cat, cat is, a, is a bitch, like, manipulative madam that is far too intelligent for her own good has figured out that the quickest way to get to my attention is to start tearing up the carpet, basically. But she does it calculated. It's not like it's just, I'm just sort of tearing up the carpet because I like to tear up the carpet. You know, I'm not having fun here. No, she's tearing up the carpet because she wants to get out. And you can tell because she'll tear up the carpet for a bit and then turn around and look at you. And be like, are you going to do anything about this here? No. Do I need to tear up? Okay, I'll tear up the carpet some more. And you go, oh, right, okay. Meow, meow, meow. Everything's fine now. You're opening the door. You're coming towards me. Little motherfucker. Green light, spotlights, yellow light. Okay. Is this designed to be... Or is it timed? The, the lights are just on spotlights. Is this a timer? No. He has no timers. Oh, All right, Janonymous. I will sort you out, bro. Between you and me, we're going to get some lap counters and, and some timers for the for the staff and all that sort of thing. How are we looking? Yeah, it's 0 0.1 sim because we've got 16 people kicking the crap out of my machine. That's why. Let's, let's, let's give it some, some demonstrative love in the form of... Let's see what's actually going on here. Where is the performance one? There it is. Let's just scrap this down to just the relevant information and then, whoops. Here we go. Let's see what Space Engineers has got to say for itself. Bit of load going on. Cool. I think I can only barely see it, but it looks like what we're hitting into here is a CPU limitation. More than anything else. Wedgie has added a scoop. Mother. I mean, I, it's, I knew it's it the was coming. Thing today. But at the same time, I feel now I need to add a sufficient defensive mechanism. A sufficient defensive mechanism, you said? Yeah. I look forward to seeing. Oh, I don't plan on anything clever, but just something specific. So you've given me a chalk then. They need to, might need to be one block higher up. No, no, no. I'm not giving you a chop. What, what I'm giving you is the opportunity to just push me. Instead of picking me up. So if you connect with me from behind, which is obviously the direction you'll be approaching from, because where else would you be other than behind? Well, I suppose if uh, if I'm going to be coming in from behind, you'll want to to be pushing you faster. So I'll oblige. There we go. Uh, what you, you just you felt that that was free roam to just add bigger engines? No, incorrect. Incorrect. Cheesy motherfucker. Oh. No, in fact, I'm just going to take this shit off. 
I, I don't need no gimmicks to kick your ass. You have your big ass blade. Well, yeah, I mean, as gimmicks go, you've got the actual server in your room, so you don't have any problems with connecting to the map like the rest of us do. The map is currently full. N -n 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 man so, yeah, it, it wouldn't work anyway. That's chances are why you're not seeing it, because it, it already filled up. But yes, this kitty cat needs to get kicked out before she literally destroys the loss of my carpet by the door. There's a uh, patch missing in the corner now. Two secs. Okay, the problem was, apparently, that what I was missing was that she'd brought me a bird. And I hadn't noticed it earlier when I let her in, so it was time to tell me that, that my gift was still waiting. It was in the corridor, just, just for me, and she'd taken off most of the feathers and left them around the corridor as well. You know, when was I say around the corridor, you? like, up the stairs and up into... yeah! Kitty's, Kitty's kind. She brings me gifts. One of the best kitties. Um. Yeah. Fun times. So, so tomorrow we'll be we'll be dealing with uh, with Kitty funds. Needs to get an Intel Core i9 79x 80xe Extreme Edition. No, I don't. What I need to do first up is overclock my current CPU because I'm running a 5820K but it is at only just above stock turbo speeds. It's stock turbo speed is 3.8 and I'm running it at 4. Uh, I have a full custom loop water loop with like a, a big pump and two 240mm thick rads. I could afford to overclock this thing pretty heavily. But hey, it looks like people are actually in and ready. Let's have a look. Wow, if you're ready. <laughs> That'll do, Harvey. Close enough. <laughs> yeah. Tell everyone around about the illegal thrusters. Tell me about those fucking golf shoes. Right, guys. Are you folks ready for a little race of, of space engineers destroying carnage? Let's see if I can even bring up... There we go. <laughs> We've lost Dragon Valley Air already. Things are going well. Let's start while we still can. No, we'll start with six. Because why not? The lag on me even typing is in insane. Whoa. 
one lap. Hot seat race. Go! Oh, look at it. Again, your space engineers just gives you these glimpses of the fact that, hey, if, it, if they really did get it to work, it would be legitimately one of the best multiplayer games out there. And it ever so, ever so frustrates me. And I'm sure it does all of you guys as well. The fact that they just don't seem to have recognized this. It's just like, look at this bollocks. It's fucking wacky races in Space Engineers with 16 people. And yet, and, and it's actually getting kind of close to sort of being viable with, with all sorts of different vehicles. And they're all hover vehicles and we're smashing into each other and all sorts of random craziness. And if they were to just get it right, if they could nail this, then they would have the, the fucking gold. The modders would do everything else for them. Everything. The rest of it. It would be covered. All they would need is to handle the engine side of things and just nail this stuff so that we could legit have our stupid crazy races in not... 0.43 of a sim speed for the host and therefore terrible for everybody else as well. It, it would be nuts. Please, space engineers, you're getting you're getting so close. And not only that, we are actually legitimately we are seeing less of the sort of random updates. So I think maybe they have actually started to cotton onto this, but they've never been of this approach that I felt like multiplayer was their real priority. Like, everything that they wanted to do was just get multiplayer working. It's always felt like what they were chasing was a better single-player experience. Which is just so frustrating, because you just miss the whole point. Is when you've got a sandboxing and crafting game like this, it, it, what people love to do when they've made whatever it is, is share it. And if they can share it while they're making it, or if they can make something that's crazy to share then that's even better, because that's really what people want to get out of this sort of thing. It's not its not being able to make something fucking cool and then mess around with it yourself. It's being able to make something fucking cool and then give it to someone else to mess around with it and see how much fun they have with it. Or even better, get 16 people together and race around some crazy creation. And that ends today's rant on Space Engineers. Not really a rant, more a bit of evangelism, some hope. <laughs> I'm sure you're just preaching to the choir right now. Yeah, everyone's down for it. It's just frustrating still. Everyone except Keith. No, I'm, I'm feeling more and more of late, maybe even Keen as well. I still don't feel like they've properly got on board. If you know what I mean, they probably understood that that actually it's multiplayer that will carry the entire title. They don't. They don't. I don't think they yet understand that they don't need to worry about anything else. I thought like King the was amount too busy. of blocks, the amount of, uh, of of anything else doesn't matter. All you need is multiplayer and the modding support that they already have, and the modders will do everything else. To be honest, I thought Keen was just too busy trying to turn Marek into a cyborg these days. Oh, well, there, there's a bit of that. Apparently it's a lament. <laughs> I've no idea where I am now. I've, I've gone off the track. Long the massive heavy armor plow might have done something to the uh, I'm handling. I'm only just noticing the random artwork around the sides of the track. Have a look out! Like I've just passed the space vet. Uh, um, not space invaders. Why on earth would I be saying that? Oh shit! Is damage on, or is it just locking up for help? Oh no! I just passed a Pac-Man one. Just like a piece of like Pac-Man art with a bunch of ghosts like just charging around on a piece of like LCD on the side. Whoa! Space engineers has hit some sort of. Space engineer, what happens? It suddenly decided to not use the whole CPU. Someone's done something. Who's done something? 
I'm behaving myself as much Have as I can. Have one of you guys cap. done something that means that you shouldn't be trusted? Let's be very clear. I, I am the sort of person that, you know, I've, I've run a World of a Warcraft guild for the last... Oh, actually, no, no. It maybe maybe I'll, I'll take it back. Maybe we're all right. I'm clearly... I'm coming in like fourth or fifth by those things. Stop after you, you pass the line. I always thought that, you know, beating you in anything was uh, was something that shouldn't be done. So I'm surprised you haven't banned all those people that's finished the heady. What? No. Well, I said it the other night. You know the kid that I took his ball home when he lost football? Well, you're the kid that goes around and bursts everyone else's ball with a death lotus. Ah, uh, not quite. Not quite. You, you slightly not misdescribed quite. me. I'm, I'm not quite that kid. I'm, I'm the kid that doesn't quite know where the, the line is, ah. as far as the joke is concerned. So I'm, I'm the kid that, that pushes it just a little bit further than really was funny. And at the same time, yeah, I mean, I am kind of competitive. Let's be clear. But. I don't mind losing, but only if it's clean, and you, sir, are a fucking cheater. Well, yeah, but I did come in stone dead last, <laughs> so, you know. A, let's be brutally honest here. You are a cheater, and that should be accepted to call you a cheater. Uh, yeah. And yes, you are stone dead last. Congratulations. Nice one, guys. Uh, do you want to like, let's line up for a really cool... Can we do this? Can we do this as a YouTube stream, no less? Get into vehicles and line up for actually like a really tight, organized screenshot. Someone's have, pulled out an assault rifle, I, I don't I, think so. I have been raiding and raid leading my World of Warcraft guild for 12 years now. Uh, the, you know, And we're talking about a guild that, not at the moment, I have to admit, but at times has competed in like the top 200 EU sort of guild level. And even then, I cannot get these motherfuckers to line up for screenshot. They just cannot do it. It is impossible to un get them to understand the concept of if you just line up next to each other, nice and close, and you don't use all of your stupid shiny abilities, and you get rid of your stupid pets, then actually I can get quite a nice screenshot. They don't understand it, and, it, and that, that's after 12 years. They'll do all sorts of complex other stuff, but, but take a screenshot now. Nah. Nope, that's beyond them. So let's see, can a YouTube stream do better than my guild? Because this would be awesome. This this would be the the perfect ammo. I'd just be like, no, I just I, I asked a stream that I could only communicate with with a forty five second chat delay that I don't even know most of them. Never even been in my game before. They could line up for a screenshot. What the fuck is wrong with you losers? <laughs> Come on, get on side, folks. Be, be with me here. I need this. I need this. <laughs> two rows. Give me two rows as well. I want two organized rows. Front row, back row. Back row has tall people. Front row has short people. Th these are the rules for the guild, and I need this. So far, there is a little bit of the WoW Guild ethos going on at the moment, which is, I must be in the front line, and also I need shiny lights. Look at me, look at me. <laughs> yeah, an arc around the camera is even better, then I can raise the field of view a bit as well. Play with your field of view if you're ever taking screenshots, by the way. Uh, it, it, it really makes a big difference. You can get really tight. Like, if I wanted to take a screenshot of something that was just an individual vehicle, like close up, I'd go to something like this, maybe. And I'd probably have to bump the res, because Space Engineers doesn't behave that well. But you can get a really nice sort of kind of... You get a certain style from this sort of shot, you know. But then, if you were to go and change the, the field of view, and instead of running something that's that tight, you run like 
we can't go too high. I wouldn't recommend going above about 100 in Space Engineers, to be honest. Uh, it starts to get a bit weird. With this sort of angle, you get something that's very, like, exa from exactly the same sort of position, you get something very different. There's much more focusing, like, the sky and sort of the surroundings rather than what's in the picture. So depending on what you're trying to take a screenshot of, it's kind of important to pick the right field of view for it. So this would work great from a like central location like this, where we can kind of highlight the number of vehicles. The rows are shit. Guys, guys, you are not tight here. Come on, we can do better. We can do better. I'm not impressed, really. This more looks like a random collection of... This is a scrapyard. This isn't a screenshot, this is a scrapyard. Why are there wedgie... I need them to manoeuvre. Honestly, try moving this thing with its god-awful plough on the front of it. it. It can't. It can only go... Now, I wonder line. where the plough came from. Where was that exactly? Hmm. So, yeah, I need them to move backwards. I'll take them off in a sec, don't worry. Now this is starting to this is starting to come together. The lines are looking good. Uh, Mr. Red in the back row on the left-hand end from your perspective could move a few feet to your left. So you're not quite as jammed up. And yeah, if you guys all want to look towards, let me teleport myself. Look towards me as a character. To just tilt towards me so you try and sort of have me a bit more in view without knocking into the guy next to you. And while you do that, I will arrange the ideal atmosphere. Wow, okay. Oh, lovely. We got the sunrise shot. Get dim lens flares in there. Now let's get enough shadows on the car that's still interesting. Out right there. Now there, are, there actually is a bunch of other settings you can play around with here to try and sort of make your screenshots more kind of creatively interesting. I don't know why this is become one. And here's how to screenshot screen. Um, I say, and here's how to screenshot screen. Um, better this. Hello. There we go. Bit slight, slight concern there that Space Engineers had uh, chat itself, basically. <laughs> but yeah, you can do you can do a lot in here to kind of clean up screenshots depending on what you want from it. You know, kind of take the edge off shadows, that sort of idea. Uh, where are the others? There's a few other good ones. Uh, yes, yeah, some of the post-processing can be can be good. You know, upping bloom, for example. Okay, so let's find the right spot for this shot because people are kind of convex inwards towards a certain location. Stay where you are now. Don't move. Wow, the sim speed. Holy shit, that's crazy. Everything about this game is just dying. But I think the screenshot's a bit like that. I'm going to take one here, but I actually don't like this lighting. Because you've got the option of basically including the lighting as part of the background, and thus kind of really giving yourself a big focus on the lighting. Or you can give yourself a big focus on the content of the shot by doing the sun basically the other direction. And I, want, I, want, I want this guy with his shadow kind of as part of the shot as well. Kind of looking on. Looking onto the vehicles. Yeah, that's pretty cool. 
normally what I would also do would be to jump into jump into display and I don't have it turned on at the moment for some reason but you can turn on something called DSR dynamic sample dynamic sampling resolution or something like that uh, but it lets you run higher resolution than is your actual monitor native uh, and thus take sexy screenshots and sexy video a bit like Ansel pretty damn cool um, what can we do to finish we're on a block destruction world so not a huge amount cheers guys it's been fun. Uh, random, 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 random late night stream that's been a bit plagued by technical issues, says the man trying to return back to his actual like first person position. Uh, it, certainly Space Engineers has come a long way. We have six people, 16 people in a game with 16 vehicles. We have done a race. Uh, I will beat you to the finish line. Left is the direction you want to go. Ha <laughs> ha! Head start, fools. I win. But yeah, it's been it's been great fun. This is a really cool map. Check out Janonymous, spelt with a lot of O's. But I think if you type it in or type in Easy Start Race Map or Easy Start Race Map Green, which I think is the current one we're playing on, you will get a look at these maps and these vehicles. They are really damn cool. I can't remember the name of the guy who first uh, demonstrated this sort of technique for a fun race experience on the stream. Naughty Park. Naughty Park. That was it. Thank you, Wedgie. Uh, showed up with, uh, you know, I have a race map, and he showed up with one of these hover vehicles on the stream, and just that vehicle just wrecked everybody. And from that point on, it became sort of the de facto standard for race vehicles. And hell, when I have to admit, when it's not running at 0.3 sim speed, it is great fun. It's all about like the crazy drifts, turning into the corners, and trying to sort of counter your movement and. It's just the sim speed fluxing like it does makes it basically impossible. So instead, it's bounce off the damn walls. <laughs> and maybe eventually we can mess around with it. But it's been a fun stream. Don't forget to follow Wedgehog on twitch.tv forward slash Wedgehog95 because he's awesome. That's right. He Thank does you. stream from time to time. Uh, I can't vouch for what he's streaming. Uh, sometimes it's a little fucking weird. A little uh, is a little understatement. Yeah, yeah, he, he does does have his tastes. Um, hey, if you're into that, then you're into that. I'm not going to judge. <laughs> <laughs> Nor am I going to explain. Mysterious. <laughs> but also remember that I stream Mondays and Fridays over on Twitch. Twitch.tv forward slash Wasted Space. I also, if you want to update on what the fuck is going on with the channel and all sorts of other things, you can follow me on Twitter. And if you have enjoyed this stream, then please, please click that like button. It really does matter, a, like, a huge amount. And if you haven't liked it, let me know by slamming on the dislike. And otherwise, folks, I mean, it's been pretty awesome. And Space Engineers, I don't know, I feel like it's finally fucking getting there which I think is something worth celebrating with a late night and very delirious stream, if nothing else is. So, hey, it's half past three in the morning. Hooray! I'm going to go and sort of think about going to bed now. Goodbye, folks. I say that. I, 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 the competitive part of me now must finish this lap, at the very least, and, and take on all of the dirty tricks in order to do so, which includes using this fella here as basically a braking zone. Sorry, dude, but yeah. I need to get around this nah. corner, and you know, part of that involves braking, and double the dampers is double the dampers. <laughs> As I like to say, that's just rude. Hey, at least I, I I can take some recompense in that I kept a lot of other people up as well. It's not just myself that I'm keeping up. Oh yeah, given that we're, we're busy trying to drift apparently backwards around this corner, I fucked that up big style. While I'm doing so, I should also make put a massive shout out, especially if it's the end of the month, that important time, to the Patreon supporters as well. I, I mentioned it earlier, but between donations, Patreon, and uh, yeah, the donations of Patreon, that's the only reason I can still do this at the moment, and not only that, but... The reason why I feel like I should really be rewarding you guys and trying to do my best to produce some 
some better, more cool content, and I'm I'm working on that. I'm just a bit shit, which you guys already know, so that's fine. <laughs> Come on, motherfuckers! This corner's gonna go amazing. Someone's over the top of someone else. Yeah, that that ship seems to have a bit of a problem in that regard. Why has it got guns? We we've, we've got no block damage. It's not gonna do anything. Someone's got a fucking massive engine on the back. You are cheating, sir. Cheating. Like you wouldn't even believe. So the trick is to kind of use your rear thrusters to counter the rear movement, but then really work the side thrusters. So it's kind of a drift, but kind of not. I've been doing it very, very badly. But there is a technique to this that is repeatable, and the sim speed's sort of being a lot more consistent now. Coming around to the end of the lap. Who's this ahead of me? It looks like clockwork. Yeah, it is. Hey, clockwork. I, I'm going to be a bit of a douchebag here. No, I'm not. Shit, I fucked up the douchebaggery. Or maybe I didn't. No, I did. I did. I fucked up douchebaggery. No! And in the run for the... No! No, that's not acceptable. How dare you? How bally dare you? You, sir. You are a cad. And a bounder. Not acceptable. And I'm... Alright. Well, fuck it. I don't think you did win, Clockwork. I think there were people ahead of us, to be fair. <laughs> I think we both lost. But anyway, you beat me. So that's the thing. Good night, folks. You are all wonderful people. And it is, as always, a pleasure and a privilege to be able to make some content for you. And hopefully you've had some fun. I will catch you for the next one, which will be at a point. I don't know when. No, soon. Goodbye. Hey, dislikes are fine. Dislikes are fine. Dislikes are... Uh, as long as people people are sensible with them. Dislikes are people's way of telling me, Hey, wasted. That video wasn't as good as it could have been. That's all good. Alright, folks. Take care. Someone's just flew in with a gunship.